We got a brand new pack inside the store called Full Core Press. Big shout out to NBA 2K Mo for sponsoring this video. We're going to get a chance to go for the rewards in this new interactive pack inside the game. So the way it works is you spin your way through multiple boards, collecting prizes along the way, making it to the final board to spin for the ultimate prize. Spin your way through each board, landing on prizes and avoiding fouls. Landing on a prize sends it to a prize slot, collect three prizes, and move to the next board. Land on three fouls, and it's game over. You have the option to adjust your rewards between rounds, so that's actually pretty cool. And the final board has the best possible rewards. You can see the brand new Kevin Garnett is there, playing at the center position, so that is definitely an incredible card to add to your lineup, especially if you missed out getting Kevin Garnett for the event. So taking a look at the rewards, right, because it does cost a 1,000 coins to get in, so for the first round, the possible rewards you can get is a Plasma Quartz card, along with the items that are shown there. It does include collectibles and rings. The second round, the best card you can get is a Chaos Diamond, along with the items that are shown there. Third round will be Zircon, with the items shown. And it keeps going up all the way to the final round. All the way up to the fifth round, you start getting players. And it continues to go up in rarity. In the fifth round, you actually get a player, so you get a garnett jason kidd which is a great point guard number six you get the aquamarine Dwayne wade round seven you get the purple sapphire elgin baylor round eight you get the rose quartz ray allen in the final round you got a chance to get the arcane crystal kevin garnett along with a possible rose quartz and purple sapphire card i mean it looks like a pretty fun pack let's jump into it and let's see how it is all right here we go Okay, that's pretty cool so it is definitely interactive so let's see how does this work all right so it says spin to win and right, let's see what happens and i guess you stop it on whatever tier you want it to be so there are a lot of cards in here so it seemed like it was just one reward but there's plenty of cards for each tier so we'll just stop it we got two elite gear keys we're going to keep it spinning the idea is to not get the whistle i guess all right let's see what else works here all right we got two chaos diamond rings all right come on come on he needs to get to round two I think once you get three prizes, you get on to the next round. Of course, you can't get the whistles. All right, so we got Ben Simmons. He's actually a pretty underrated point guard in this game. All right, so I can move on. I can change the rewards if I want. I think because it's so early, I'm just going to keep going. So those go straight to the locker. So I, the key card I see right away is that chaos diamond stephen curry so for a new player that's an incredible card island houston is a sleeper as well so let's see what happens next tier all right so it's like the same cards but shuffled around all right so let's see what we get zircon's pump up and spin it all right we got dr j that could be a good mentor right we just got dr j as a reward so we can make him into a mentor and dennis johnson i'm gonna keep it going now of course if you want to change your rewards feel free to do so but i think for me like i'm more concentrating on pushing through and then trying to switch up the rewards maybe at the end so like that final round i might try to switch up the rewards so we see some theme cards being added in now there's a jail and sugs so the reward pool is getting better and I wouldn't mind getting that Jalen Suns. I don't have that card. So let's see. Nope, we got Blake Griffin. Congratulations on the retirement. Blake has so many crazy highlights. And if you don't know, definitely look him up on YouTube after you watch this video. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to stop it. And we got pop ups. We'll keep it going. I did want the Jalen Suns, though, but it ain't that serious. All right, so now we got a Kyle Kuzma in there and a Zion Williamson. That Kyle Kuzma is a good theme card as well. What I like about Kyle Kuzma is he's got a four in every stat, so you can build him out really to be a solid card on your team. There's crazy potential with building out Kyle Kuzma. Mm -hmm. And so we got standard gear keys. We'll keep that going. Mm -hmm. All right, we finally got our first whistle. Come on, come on. We got our second one. That's crazy. And there's a whole lot of whistles in the round now. You see that? All right, we got a West collectible. 
it's getting a little tougher. So round four starts getting a little crazy. <laughs> so we, oh, that's actually pretty cool. So you can remove one file for free or remove all the files if you watch an ad. That's actually pretty solid. This gives a lot of players a chance to go back in. That's pretty cool. So I am going to remove one file. I don't want to play the ad right now. But if we get another file, I might just do it. I mean, more than likely, it'll be an ad for like the courtside pass, which if you're not sure if you should get it, it's definitely a lot of value there. And that ad does a good job of explaining the rewards you get. And then there's another ad for the new 2K game from, made by the same company that makes NBA 2K Mobile as well. It's called NFL 2K Playmakers, which I think is a pretty good game. If you like card games, it's definitely a good one to add to your lineup, especially if you're into the NFL. You got a lot of stars in that game. And there's some similarities to NBA 2K Mobile. So I'm going to remove all the files because it's getting a little too crazy. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, this is getting a little tough now. I'm trying to stop the spinner a little bit quicker. See if I can land on the card. And I'm still getting fouled, so... I don't know, man. This might be a little too aggressive. Let's see, let's see, though. Let's see if it gets better later on. It might just be this round. All right, so we got Rick Fox. We're going to move on to round number five. All right, so this has that Murray card from the throwback theme, and then they got the Jason Kidd, which we talked about earlier. So that's going to be the chase card for this round. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. And right, we got a whistle. Got to blow the whistle on that one. All right, there we go. I think we're good. We just got to get one reward. It doesn't matter what it is. There we go. We got the Jason Kidd, so... We actually got the chase card. I'm happy about that. On to the next round. All right, round number six. So we got Sharif Abdul Rahim in there. I don't mind getting that. I didn't get that the first time around. That dude was a beast in the post, man. Very good. Ain't beast. Uh, we got Dwayne Wade in there, too. That's a good card to get. So let's see how this works out. And don't sleep on Aquamarine. Because of those Eastern Conference loyalty bonuses, those cards are still really good. They get that power boost. We got the D-Way. Let's get it. We pair him up with two other Eastern Conference Beast of the East players. But they have to have the abilities, right? At least one of those players need the ability. I'm not entirely sure if Wade has it. I think he does, though. Let's just keep it going. All right, we got a whistle, but I think we had a little hot streak there. So it's getting a little bit better, even though the board is stacked with whistles. And I have three, so let's remove them all. We just need to get one reward. At this point, give me whatever. This is getting a little crazy. Okay, Marvin Bagley, I'll take it. Round number seven, let's go. So this has the Tim Duncan. That Tim Duncan is an alternate position card. So he's at the center position, so that's a solid card. Elgin Baylor, and then we got a Penny Hardaway on there. So if I had to choose, I want to get the Baylor, the Duncan, and the West Collectibles. If not, the Penny is fine. Out, he's a really good mentor. Like pretty much, mentors that have a lot of fives in their stats are good, because then when you're trying to convert them to a mentor, you just need to max out that stat to get the plus two for your player that you want to make a mentor for. <laughs> All right, so we're going to spin. This board is stacked with missiles. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's try to time this a little better. Even though I don't really think the timing matters, I think if it's going to spin faster than what you think it's going to stop on. We'll try, right? We'll try. Yeah, see, just bounce right back. Okay. That worked out. <laughs> that worked out. Okay. Well, I thought we had something there. Yeah, I thought I got stopped it on Timmy. It went right to the next board. 
Okay, so Penny Hardaway. I'm going to keep moving. All right, so round number eight. We got Jimmy Butler on there. That's a sick reward. Again, back to the team loyalty bonuses and the Easter Conference loyalty bonuses. Jimmy could be a lot better than what the power shows. We got Ray Allen on there. And then Clay Thompson and collectibles. So the goal is to get these theme cards. We got some of the best shooters of all time right there. Ray Allen and Clay Thompson. Another whistle. Another one. Let's see, man. This is getting a little crazy. All right, we got Ray Allen, so that's good. Another whistle. All right, we got Jimmy Butler. So we got the two reward cards we wanted on this one. W for me. All right, we'll keep it going. All right, so on to the last round. And so far, I'm not going to lie to you. Even though it seems like it's a bit more tougher, but it's more affordable than pressure dunk and bank shot. So I gotta, that's got to be a W right there. And the rewards are pretty good. You do get an idea of what rewards you're going to get. But let's see how it finishes out, though, right? Before I start praising the, the pack opening, right? I got to see exactly how it turns out. But so far, there's some positives with this pack opening. So let's keep this going. All right, so one foul there. Another one. Oh, man, I spoke too soon, y'all. All right, so we got Kyle Lowry. Rookie Kyle Lowry, right? It's a throwback. Three gear keys. I'm going to have to switch up some of the rewards on this one. Because you know I want to get another KG. There we go. We got KG. At this point, I think I'm good. Right? We got the Kyle Lowry. We got the KG. I don't need anything else, right? I don't want the Derrick Rose in there. Collectibles is like whatever. So we're finished with this one. But remember, we got rewards in the locker. We are going to recap them. We got the big ticket, which is cool because I got them from the leaderboard. I got them from the event, and I got another one. So it should be a lot easier to max them out now. But let's go over a recap of the rewards. So we got the Ray Allen, W Card, Dwayne Wade, Kevin Garnett, Jason Kidd, and Jimmy Butler. I mean, this is pretty solid. And if you're looking at it, we almost have a full roster if we were to make a new team as a first-time player. Halari, Penny Hardaway, Malvin Bagley, DeJounte Murray, Rick Fox, Blake Griffin, Dennis Johnson, Julius Irvin, Ben Simmons, and 13 Elite Gear Keys, which are good to get some of the best shoes inside the game. You know, you could get some epic shoes, sometimes legendary. Five draft picks, three collectibles. We got some rings, we got some pump-ups. Obo and Zircon. So we went in, I think, for around 48,000. We finished with 31, so not too bad, right? Again, compared to pressure dunk, bank shot, you get, I think, to be honest with you, I feel like the rewards are a bit better, cost a bit less. And I do think the pack opening was more entertaining than bank shot, because bank shot is really long. But overall, though, I still think Superstar Spinner is the best pack. But this one here is pretty good. I think it gives players a little bit more opportunity to get some of the best cards. So it works out pretty good. And with the draft picks, let's see what we're getting. We got Demonte Sabonis. And we got an RK Crystal Ring. That's actually a pretty good pull. Now that we got another KG, he might be my starting center. If you want to see more videos like this, man, we got playlists of so many different pack openers on the channel. We've been opening packs for this game for a long time, folks. So we got a lot of heat. We got a playlist on the channel page for every pack opening inside of NBA 2K Mobile. We got Superstar Spinner, Bank Shot technical toss up is a throwback pickle roll is a throwback press your dunk and of course there are more packs on there as well as always i appreciate the support i'll catch everyone in the next one stay balling